Hi there, my name's Alex Costa and I'm the head of Prep PE at Stover School. I've been uh, at Stover since 2010 and I teach across the Prep School and the Senior School, including nursery all the way up to Year 13. And my son is also at Stover, he's currently in Year 3 and I get to teach him as well, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to talk to you about the sorts of things that we do in the Prep School in terms of PE, what the children um, start with and where they progress year on year what they do in terms of lesson time and the content so let's start off with our ethos so when we are teaching PE and actually across the school as a whole we are looking at all of the children being actively involved we are giving the children lots of new experiences and opportunities to get involved in a range of activities and events across the entire year some of those are competitive but they are all based on friendly inclusion. But as they get through the year groups, they will become more competitive against one another and in fact, um, external schools. So we teach things right from early start, such as sportsmanship and etiquette and teamwork. And it's all about our positive frame of mind and giving everything a go with of course a fun attitude to go with that. So let's look in a bit more closely detailed what the children actually do so talking right from the very start in our nursery the p specialists actually work with the nursery school teachers and the children they come down to nursery once a week and we lead uh, fun and inclusive sessions and each session is about 40 minutes and as you can see from this example we do follow a curriculum map or a program of study over the course of each term so you can see in the autumn term for example we look at fundamental movement skills then we go into fitness cross country and some orienteering skills and then after christmas in the spring term we look at gymnastics and dance and in the summer it's all about athletics and games development so then we move on to reception now as they are still eyfs they actually move up though to have two lessons a week of 40 minutes and again we're getting them ready for their key stage one lesson so we're still expanding those fundamental movement skills we go into fitness cross country gymnastics but then we start looking at more sport specific skills so that's why you can see we've got striking games athletics netball and football skills listed next we move up to year one they also have two 40 minute lessons, but as they are going up through the year groups, we will be differentiating the activities as well as pushing them and getting them ready up to the lower part of key stage two. So again, this is where we will see more specific sports being incorporated. We've still got dance, gymnastics, but we're really looking at the netball skills, football skills, rugby and hockey. A year two is where they get more content and time and specialist areas and uh, teachers with um, specialisms coming in and they actually have three 40 minute lessons a week spread out over the course of the, the five days at the moment for example they're mondays tuesdays and wednesdays that just depends on timetabling and again we're still looking at those skills but we're really homing in on the games element in preparation for that lower key stage two because that's where the children will be going off and taking part in competitive fixtures um, and then lastly we will look at a year three and four and five and six now these cohorts are currently taught together but sometimes we do have differentiation where we may take boys and girls off separately or we may have a whole class together for example might have all of year five together boys and girls doing some of these activities so it's good that the children have the opportunity to um, separate gender sometimes for some of the sports we do however for our P lessons it's really nice that we come together and work boys and girls side by side now um, talking about the sports traditionally we follow the usual sports that you would see in the autumn term such as rugby and hockey and then the spring term we move on to our netball and football and lastly in the summer term we look at the rounders cricket and the athletics however the last few years we've actually enabled the children to broaden their experiences and we've had girls doing rugby boys doing hockey and all of the children have thoroughly enjoyed that extra enrichment speaking of enrichment the children do have the opportunity to take part in some extracurricular clubs so after school we also we always have lots of sports clubs to do as well as other activities such as chess lego dance and that sort of thing 
So moving on to the next element are our house fixtures. Now we are part of a house structure. There are three houses at Stover and they are Mary Templer, Victoria Courtney and Elizabeth Seymour. All of the children are signed up to a house uh, right from reception and that house will then follow them through all the way through their school career up until year 13. Uh, throughout the entire year, there are always staged events which are amazing to be a part of and see the children really take those ethos elements on that we talked about earlier in this presentation. And those sorts of activities range from um, music competitions to house point trophies up until the sports events. So we will have at end of each term some house cups, for example, in the hockey, rugby, football, netball, rounders, cricket and obviously leading on to the infamous Sports Day trophies where we come together as a whole school and participate in those vast range of events. Even the younger groups get involved in our house events, right from nursery up to the years uh, reception one and two, they come together in their houses and we have multi-skills throughout the year. And lastly, we have internal fixtures and events throughout the year too. So the children are very, very busy, so they always have extra opportunities to practice their sports and put their skills into practice on the pitch or on the courts in these fixtures. So over the years we've been involved with the sports partnership that enables us to access a range of different events both inclusive and competitive throughout the year and we also have other preparatory school fixtures within our local community and local area that we um, to participate in weekly as well as sometimes we have opportunities to look at other external events such as athletics and swimming. So to finish the children always have lots of activities to be able to be a part of and like we talked about at the very beginning with our ethos they always have opportunity to be involved we are looking for inclusion, but obviously within that realm, there is capacity for competitiveness, but we are looking at those characteristics to make them aware as they grow older, to give them that whole package, such as sportsmanship, etiquette, teamwork, and that positive attitude and mindset. Thank you very much.